On June 27, 2020, the 10 millionth person was infected with COVID-19. The United States and South Korea both reported their first COVID-19 case on the same day, January 20th. You could argue this means the two countries have had the same amount of time to prepare for the epidemic, but on the other hand, South Korea did have experience from the 2015 MERS outbreak, but on the other hand, the United States did know about the outbreak, so that's not an excuse, and basically it's too complicated to make a simple comparison. Regardless, let's Let's look at the daily case counts of COVID-19 in each U.S. state and South Korean province over time. If a bar is colored red, that means its overall two-week trend in cases is going up. If it's blue, its two-week trend is going down. And if it's gray, its two-week trend is holding flat. Currently, the U.S. states of Florida, Texas, and California take the top spots, with well over 4,000 new cases per day. However, they are also the most populous states, so perhaps that's why they naturally have more infected people. To account for this, let's look at the bar graphs again, but display case counts per capita instead.
So it seems like per capita, Arizona is actually the state that's currently suffering the worst. But in the meantime, I want to show you this really informative tool that Mahmoud Hikmet made. In your head, can you picture the difference between a hundred thousand and a million? Probably not. This tool, COVID Loader, does its best to make these numbers more digestible by bringing attention to every new case and every new death of COVID-19 real time. Attaching a sound effect for each new case or death creates a sort of metronome for how fast coronavirus is spreading. Loading bars also make it seem like the most horrible indie game to ever exist. Hopefully, covidloader.com will help people realize our current position against the virus instead of getting our heads lost in the numbers. So that was Mahmood's message to you. If you're interested, check out the link in the description. Stay safe and see you later.